מגנה, קמי, לצורך העניין הסכת כאן. Mother is preventing the child from expressing her feelings. After he's born only I get all these problems. You don't talk to me. You don't study with me. You don't play with me. You don't do anything with me. Megina, don't say like that. I've been giving you so much time. The mother becomes defensive immediately. This does not solve the problem. Why do you say he's a small butter in your ring and give him so much time? No! Megina, stop shouting. He's sleeping. Go, Gero. Go. Giving explanations from the past or pointing out to facts when the child is upset is of no use. Further, she openly rejects the child by asking her to go away, thereby proving what the child just said. Mehna! Mehna, come let's open this gift. Let's see what is inside. Do you want to see what is inside? No. Gifts only for Arjun and nothing for me. See, five gifts, including this. And no, not even one gift for me. Oh baby, you're feeling sad. Hmm? Mother focuses on the child's emotions rather than pointing out facts. This validates the child's feelings. Why do you feel sad about it? What happened? After Arjun was born, every everything changed. Now you ne you never play with play with me. You never study with me, and you never did anything with me. Oh baby, tell me what should I do? What what will make me happy? Mother acknowledges and reflects what the child says. Can you make me study instead of grandma? Okay, Puta. And do one thing. We are just sleeping. Hmm? We both will sit and study. Okay? Is it fine? Hmm. But what should I do when the baby cries? Then you can go on and sleep. Okay. Such a lovely daughter of mine. I love you, Megana. Mother assures her availability and attention to the older child. At the same time, she teaches the child the inevitability of her being available to the baby at certain times. This mother took sides without realizing that this gives the younger child permission to misbehave. This is only a temporary solution. On the one hand, mother shows open favoritism towards the younger sibling. But on the other hand, she says the exact opposite in words. Mother has obliviously communicated her incompetence in solving this problem. This is not a healthy strategy. Now tell me who's 
TV time it is. Look at the time table there. Mother ignores the aggression and gently draws their attention towards the timetable. Whose time it is? Mine. Yeah, it's Meghanaka's time. Okay? So Meghanaka, you watch the 5.30 show. Me and Vedan will come back at 6 o'clock. Okay? Come Vedan. Predetermined rules are helpful to make fair decisions. It's dinner time, children. Yay! My fashion, my fashion. See, I have the special thing. You don't give it. But it's my turn to use it today. Give it. It's mine. Give it. It's my turn. I must see your mom. He has it. It is everything which I have. Give. What is it? Give. Give. Both are fighting like this. Give. Give it to me. You both are going to eat in the same day today. This mother assumes that arguments are a sign of an unhappy relationship and rushes to mediate the argument. This mother is firm and calm. She doesn't rush to mediate the argument unless it becomes violent. She understands that children can solve their own problems if they are given the opportunity to do so. <laughs> 